What else? It says Yankee on the back. Pokey thing? Icebreaker? Something terrible happened to that handle. I do like that though. Here's a closer look at the poor thing. It looked like the head of a screw broke off. The wood handle suffered a horrible death. It had what looked like a brass furl. I didn't expect to have much trouble getting it apart. Check out the interesting fastener that was used on the butt cap. Remember the scene in Christmas Story when the dad tries to glue his broken leg lamp back together? One of my subscribers, Dave, who goes by LV Woodturner in the comments, contacted me and offered to make a new handle. So I sent him the broken handle and he made a new one out of spalted honey locust. Here's some photos of the handle being made. Dave also made a new brass furl out of an old fitting. Check it out. Look at this beautiful thing. I made a mandrel out of some threaded rod so I could sand it on the drill press. I smoothed out the machining marks on the furl, first with a file, then sandpaper, and finally Scotch-Brite. I sanded the wood down to 320 grit, and I stained it with Minwax Early American. I used my drill and belt sander to clean up the shaft. I cleaned up the butt cap with the wire wheel and assorted wire flinging Dremel bits. I made this mandrel up to mount the cap in my hand drill. My goal was to get the sides of the cap smooth. I considered a few options for the screw. I wasn't keen on using a Phillips head. I bought a stainless steel lag bolt at Home Depot. My plan was to modify the head. First I cut a screwdriver slot. I like to start the slot with a triangular file. I feel like I have a better shot at getting the slot centered this way. 
Then I finish the slot with a hacksaw. Once I was happy with the slot, I moved on to shaping the head. I was happy with how it turned out. Okay, this is what the ice pick looked like when I found it in that $6 toolbox hole. And here it is now. I blew the butt cap. I thought the dark metal would go well with the dark streaks in the wood. I applied several coats of semi-gloss polyurethane to fill up the open grain as much as possible. Chuck and I had fun polishing the brass and steel with our flits. The shaft was a little loose in the hole in the handle, so I epoxied it in place. I want to give LV Woodturner a big thank you for collaborating with me on this project. The wood Dave chose for the handle came out looking spectacular. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I was able to identify this ice pick with the help of IceToolCollection.com. Gilchrist was in business from 1906 to 1931. They were well known for their ice cream scoops. This was the only advertisement I could find that showed my ice pick. I think their slogan, Better Than Need Be, definitely applies to this ice pick now.